Hello and welcome back to Linode. In today's video, we're going to talk about the basics of monitoring resources on your Linux server. And that's definitely an important thing to know how to do because, well, we got to keep our eye on the CPU, memory, storage, and things like that to make sure that our server is in good health. So what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to give you some pointers about monitoring system resources, and I'll also talk about a few utilities that will help you do exactly that. So let's get started. All right, so let's go ahead and get right into it and discuss the fundamentals of system monitoring. First of all, what are some of the things that you can monitor with monitoring tools? One example is that there's actually utilities that allow you to troubleshoot or diagnose hardware issues, but thankfully on Linode's platform, the hardware isn't your responsibility. But I mentioned this just in case you run Linux on physical servers in your data center as well. And there's all kinds of tools available that'll let you scan the memory, maybe troubleshoot the motherboard, hard drive, and so on. So basically, by downloading a diagnostic utility, you can find out if your hard drive has issues, if your motherboard is bad, and so on. Continuing, another thing that you can monitor with monitoring tools is uptime. When we deploy a Linux server, we usually have a very important job that we want it to do, and we definitely want it to be online, especially if it's a web server that is going to be visited by a bunch of customers, for example. In that case, we're especially concerned with uptime. We definitely want to make sure that the server is available when it's needed. Also, and this is an important one, monitoring tools allow us to find out if sufficient resources are available. There's all kinds of resources on our servers. We have storage, we have memory, we have CPU, we have input-output. Those are all examples of things that could become problematic or represent a bottleneck, and we definitely don't want that. So it's important that we have tools available to us that help us find out whether or not sufficient resources are available. And I already mentioned this one, but we want to make sure that there's no bottlenecks that are potentially degrading performance. If any of the resources on your server are overly used, then of course that's going to be a problem. That's going to represent a bottleneck, and that might degrade performance. And some examples of that are, well, similar to what I've mentioned, if your CPU is overly busy, if your RAM is full, maybe your instance is swapping, there could be a lot of input-output that's slowing things down. Monitoring tools will help you find out what exactly is the bottleneck for your performance, and that'll give you a clue as to what you need to focus on to fix the problem. And of course, there's other things that you can monitor as well. Now, what things should you actually monitor? I've already gone over some of these, but specifically, we want to monitor how much RAM is available. When your memory starts to get full, the instance will start to swap, and swap is orders of magnitude slower than RAM. You definitely don't want that. Now, some swap is actually okay if it's used, but for the most part, you want to use as little swap as you possibly can, and the more RAM that you're using, the more potential swap you might be using as well. So checking memory might be a good idea if things are slowing down. Now, another common focus area is storage space or disk space. How much storage is available for new data to be written to the disk? Now, this might sound like a no-brainer. I mean, obviously, if your storage is full, you can't write any new information. But you'd be surprised how often this happens. It's definitely something that you want to monitor, and you definitely want to be notified if there's a storage situation on your server. And you know what? It's not just a matter of making sure that you allocate enough disk space. Even if you did allocate enough disk space, you could still run into problems, such as a log file that's filling up with a bunch of information, or maybe some information is stored on the wrong volume or the wrong mount point. There's all kinds of things that could happen. So keeping an eye on disk space is especially important. Moving on, we also want to know how busy is the CPU. If there's more tasks that are happening in queuing up than the CPU is able to handle, then that's going to represent a problem. You'll start to see the load average increase and performance decrease. So if something is overly using the CPU, you definitely want to take a look at that. So by using monitoring tools, you can find out what in particular is using up the CPU, and that'll help you eliminate the problem. Also, input-output. If you have more data that's coming in than the system is able to handle, for example, or going out or something like that, input-output can represent a major bottleneck and is a very common issue. But also keep in mind that Linode has some graphs and things like that you can see in the dashboard that'll help you understand if input-output is a problem. But what tools should you actually use to monitor your performance? Well, one of them is the System Activity Reporter, or SAR for short, 
which I've done a video about recently on this channel that you can check out and that'll show you how to use it. And the System Activity Reporter is especially cool because you could use it to view a historical view of the overall performance of your server and that'll help you understand if there's a negative trend, maybe the performance overall is starting to degrade, which might mean that your site is becoming more popular. Yay, that's awesome. And that might mean that you might have to enlarge your instance to accommodate all the traffic. We also have the Virtual Memory Statistics Reporter, or VMstat, which is very useful. And it's actually a built-in command line tool. VMstat will give you information about memory usage, and it'll also give you information about memory paging, processes, I.O., CPU, as well as storage scheduling. Moving on, we have MonitorX. And this utility actually comes with its own web server. And that makes it very easy for remote monitoring, especially if the person that's doing the monitoring might not be a Linux professional, and they just want a web interface to get an overview of the health, and MonitorX will provide them with that information. Continuing, we have NetHogs. NetHogs is a free and open source program that extends the NetTop tool and it tracks bandwidth by process. One example of that is you might discern that the amount of outbound traffic has increased on your server, and you could use this tool to find spikes in usage. Now let's go ahead and see a quick example of monitoring system resources. Here in my Linode instance, I'm going to check and see whether or not I have HTOP installed. And I do. That's great. And HTOP is really useful for finding out the overall resource usage of your server. So let's go ahead and run it. And here it should be fairly self-explanatory. My font size is overly large, so it's hiding some of the information. I'll just shrink it down a bit. But as you can see, there's a lot of information here about what's running on the server, as well as how much CPU, memory, and swap are free. We have the load average right here. We also have the memory usage, CPU usage, and the swap usage. So this particular server isn't all that busy. And that makes sense because I haven't actually installed anything yet. What you're seeing here is a mostly vanilla Ubuntu server instance. But HTOP is just one of many examples here that I recommend that you install because as you can see, you get a lot of information from that utility. I also recommend you check out the other utilities that I've mentioned in this video. And having a varied tool set will enable you, the administrator, to be better prepared in finding out what the bottlenecks might be on your system. So hopefully this video was helpful in teaching you the basics of monitoring system resources for your Linux server. And we also talked about some of the utilities that you can download that'll help you do exactly that. Also, there's all kinds of videos on this channel that'll take you even further into the world of monitoring system resources with examples of how to use some of these utilities. So definitely check out the other videos on this channel. As always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you again very soon.